is the unchanging situation forced Friday's impeachment vote. I think the people are very happy with uh, the, the decision. Uh, now the, the next phase has to kick in. Either way, the legislature's vote marks a dramatic moment in the political career of Park, the daughter of Korea's former military dictator, and for the country, which came out in droves against her. Michael Kim. A lot of people have become politically active. And so maybe in a, a, a few years ago, you know, this would not have been so many people out there. But the events recently has really like uh, activated politically a lot of people who previously probably wouldn't have shown up into the streets. There is celebration for now, especially among the estimated 80% of Koreans who supported impeachment. But the good cheer could be temporary. Two-thirds of the panel of judges have to agree on the president's ultimate fate, whether to uphold or dismiss the impeachment motion. James Kim. A lot of attention and focus uh, of the national media and the public will be on the constitutional court. In the meantime, the president's power was transferred temporarily to the prime minister, Hwang kyo An. In a nationwide address, he said, The world is watching South Korea right now. Please, let's come together to overcome this crisis. Elise Hugh, NPR News, Seoul. Many of us look forward to flipping through the Williams Sonoma holiday catalog in the unbearably festive kitchen delights it offers. Then there are those of us who look forward to scrolling through Drew McGarry's yearly guide to those delights called The Hater's Guide to the Williams Sonoma Catalog. Andrew McGarry is with us now. He's a writer for Deadspin and GQ. And Drew, I'm hoping you're going to help Ari and I actually pick out some gifts for each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Why not? All right, Audie and I have flipped through your Hater's Guide to the Williams Sonoma catalog and chosen a couple things for each other. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Audie, you want to go first? Yes. Okay, so Drew, the thing I saw in the catalog that I thought would be good for Ari, who brings his coffee mug to the news meeting every morning, is the Gingerbread Folks Mug Toppers. Explain to our audience what that is. All right, so you hang it over the edge of the cup. It's like a little... I don't know why they're called gingerbread folks when they're just men. Or I guess they could be ladies. I guess I guess that's why they call it folks, right? It would be problematic to just think they were just men. Anyway, you hang it on the on the lip of the mug, and that's supposed to be festive, but it's stupid because if I'm if I pick up the, the coffee cup to drink my coffee, the thing's gonna slide around and high five me in the face. So it doesn't make sense. Also, is the steam from the coffee gonna kind of soften up the gingerbread person's arm to the extent? That he crumbles off the edge. It's and supposed to be for dipping people. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing is, they sell these houses, too, that hang on the lip. And the houses are like the size of the lip of the mug. Also, a house hanging on the lip of a mug sounds like some kind of California disaster movie. Like the start of an earthquake scene where the house goes tumbling. Like, I don't want a house on a precipice. It is. It's San Andreas, too. It's very yeah. It's very inappropriate. It's not structurally sound. All right, fine, smarty pants. What did you choose for me? Audie, I got you a corkscrew. But not just any corkscrew. Oh, boy. This is an electric corkscrew with a digital display that will tell you the exact number of poles left before it runs out of juice. So that you never run out of juice. See what I did there? Aww. See what I did there? All right, Drew, so this yeah. one sounds very sweet. I mean, how, how can I hate on a fancy corkscrew? I don't like the electric corkscrews because they're, they're expensive and they take up too much room. And then, if I'm opening wine, I want the like the old-fashioned corkscrew so I can be like an Italian waiter. And so that's why I, I, I want to look manly pulling it out. Like, oh, the sheer force of my huge guns pulling out the... <laughs> Pulling out the cord. And the electric cord screw doesn't let me do that. It does all the work for me, which is, just doesn't feel appropriate. Then the charges thing is stupid, too, because it's like, unless you're a sommelier who's like, you know, who watches the thing like a cell phone dying. Oh my god. I can't, I can't open the other dozen bottles of Beaujolais Nouveau I have. <laughs> Also, I know we're not supposed to talk about how much money we spend on gifts for one another, but this corkscrew that I got for you, Audi, is a hundred dollars. <laughs> this is a one hundred dollar yeah. corkscrew. All right. Well, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Audi. Thank you, Audi. I appreciate you too. Now, Drew McGarry, I mean, I think uh, you sound like a major Grinch, frankly. Uh, and a lot of us like to decorate our homes for the holidays. Maybe Some of not. us like to eat gingerbread. <laughs> Maybe not from the Williams Sonoma catalog. Not that there's okay. anything wrong with that. Um, but do you have a little bit of like a beef just with kind of Christmas 
consumerism, I guess. No, 